So every app, tool, or window you see on your desktop comes from Display Server Technology. Xorg has been the go-to since 1987, but Wayland is shaking things up. The question is, after nearly a decade of development, is it time for Wayland to replace Xorg? Okay, let's start with Wayland. It's the new kid on the block, born in 2013, aiming to streamline the user experience. Wayland removes the X server, letting the compositor and app talk directly. It's like the cool modern sports car of display servers. And on the other hand, we've got Xorg, the reliable sedan that's been cruising since the 80s. It works on the client server model, acting as the middleman between apps and the compositor. But it's been facing some challenges lately. Each has its pros and cons. Wayland offers client-side rendering in a simplified code base and better security. And Xorg, though a bit dated, is familiar, has strong graphic support and a vast user base. Wayland's client-side rendering means apps communicate directly with the compositor, reducing steps in graphics rendering. It's like a one-stop shop for both client and server, and it's more secure. Xorg, with its over 30-year legacy, still holds its ground. It's familiar, supports heavy graphics, and is better designed for adding new capabilities. But it has its shortcomings, especially in security. The real showdown is in performance. Wayland's streamlined workflow and client-side rendering give it an edge. Xorg, though reliable, is showing its age with a bloated code base. Looking at Fedora, Ubuntu, and Gnome, Wayland is gaining traction, but there are still some hurdles. Xorg remains an option due to legacy support and specific application needs. So will Wayland replace Xorg? It's a tough call. Wayland has its advantages, but Xorg's legacy is hard to shake. Now, trends show Wayland's growing popularity, especially with recent NVIDIA support. In conclusion, Wayland versus Xorg debate isn't as simple as yes or no. It depends on your needs and preferences. If you're rocking a newer setup, maybe give Wayland a spin. But if you're not ready to say goodbye to Xorg, that's cool too. It's all about finding what works for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments which display server you're rolling with. Thanks for watching.